Hello guys, my name is Darius and today I'm going to present you the top 5 SUVs under 25,000 euros. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that supported me in the past two months and ask you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and comment on this video because for you it might be just a click, but for me it's motivation in order to bring you better quality videos and create a great community. Thank you very much. So let's start with the number 5 which is the Nissan Qashqai. Well, it's a great SUV, let's say that it's a great SUV, but uh, it doesn't have a great engine and it's only front wheel drive, which makes me sick because an SUV should be a four wheel drive. You can make a front wheel drive version, but uh, you should have an option to buy it as a four wheel drive. Well, in this case, the Nissan Qashqai, it's only front wheel drive and it has a small engine, a uh, 1.3 liter engine, which I believe is the same as the Renault is using and the Mercedes and maybe Dacia as well. It produces about 138 horsepower and it's mated to a six speed manual. Of course, you can opt for the automatic too, but uh, it's more expensive. The starting price for this car is 23,000 euros. Let's talk more about the design. I like it a lot. This car looks amazing. I mean, for this kind of money, it's a great car, has a great design, has a great interior, has great color range. So it's a pretty chic car. But uh, I think that this car will be mostly used in the city or to commute from home to work. The trunk space is more than enough. It has about 500 liters. But as I said, this car won't be used as a highway cruiser or for uh, off-roading because that it doesn't have the capability to do this. The number four is the Hyundai Tucson. I don't know if I pronounce this well. Maybe it's Tucson, but uh, I like it to pronounce it Tucson. So correct me in the comments if uh, I mistake. Well, this car is about the same price of a Nissan Qashqai, but I believe it's better. It's about 23,000 euros, but has a bigger engine, a 1.6 liter engine, which produces about 150 horsepower and it's mated to a six speed manual. Of course, you can opt for a automatic. So let's talk about design. This car has a futuristic design. I think that uh, the Nissan Qashqai looked better, but this one is, uh, I can say futuristic, it has a honeycomb instead of headlights. The interior is pretty high tech, I really like it. I like what uh, Hyundai made in the past few years and I think that overall this car is a pretty reliable car and I can say that you should definitely go for it if you want to buy a Hyundai or a um, Korean SUV. Of course you can uh, have a mild hybrid version of this car which has about 180 horsepower a hybrid version which has 220 horsepower I'm not sure about this but you can have a plug-in hybrid which has 280 horsepower which is pretty great but all of them has the same IC the 1.6 liter TGDI well, number three I'm going to talk about the Skoda I'm going to talk about the Skoda Kamik well this car is smaller than the Tucson and the Qashqai but uh, the Karak which is the main competitor of uh, those two cars is not available in Romania right now maybe because they're going to release a facelift but uh, we will see this but let's continue with the Skoda Kamik because I believe that this is a great car and the price is really good it's about 16,000 euros so 7,000 euros less than the first two cars of course, this is just a front wheel drive car and you just can't go for the 4x4 because it's not available on this car. It has a small engine, a three cylinder engine of one liter that produces about 95 horsepower and it's mated to a six speed manual. But you can choose a, a DSG, I think that it's a seven speed G DSG, and uh, you can choose uh, to have a Bigger engine, a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine, which produces 150 horsepower. That engine is really great. I assure you it's reliable and it's a, a good engine overall. So I think that you should choose that engine, but 
If you want to hear more about the one liter freeze in the engine, then uh, I should call my friend because he has an Audi Q2 with uh, this engine, but it's a more tuned version which produces about 115 horsepower and is mated to a S-Tronic transmission. So for you to have his personal experience, you should definitely like this video and comment because otherwise I don't think that we can bring him here. So let's cheer him up. The number two spot is the first real SUV on this list. And I'm talking about the Suzuki Vitara, which is a great car. It's a great history and uh, right now it's not the same as the 80s or the 90s Vitaras, but uh, it's okay, it works. It's not the same off-road king that it was 30 years ago. The Suzuki Vitara is a nice car with uh, an outdated design, but it still looks good. In the interior is not so high-tech as uh, the others like the Hyundai or the Nissan, but uh, it works even though it feels cheap. This car has only one engine available in Romania. It's a 1.4 liter petrol engine, a mild hybrid of course, that produces about 130 horsepower. This engine is mated to a six-speed manual transmission and it's only available in this configuration, so you just can't go for an automatic. It's front-wheel drive and it starts from about 16,000 euros. But if you want to go for the all grip version, which is uh, 4x4, then you should pay 20,000 euros. The number one on this list is a car that is really great at off-roading, even though it's really cheap. It's the Dacia Duster. Well, this second generation Duster is really appealing to everybody, because everywhere I went in Europe, I saw lots of dusters, a four-wheel drive duster, front-wheel drive duster, diesel duster, gasoline duster, everywhere was the Dacia duster. Well, because it's a well-sold SUV and uh, I believe that this car is really good both at off-roading and on-road. The price starts from about 13,000 euros. Well, at 30,000 euros you will get an engine which is pretty small and uh, you won't have many options. The engine is a 1 liter 3 cylinder which produces 90 horsepower and has front wheel drive. You can go for an Eco G by fuel version which has 100 horsepower and yeah, it has the same engine but it uses LPG2 so we'll have a better mileage. But if you want to go off road, you should definitely go for the 1.5 DCI version which produces 150 horsepower and of course it's a diesel engine. Yeah, that car is four-wheel drive and it's pretty good at it because it can compete with the Land Rover off-roading capability at only 17,000 euros. It's a nice car, yeah, of course, it's really plasticky, but overall it has a great interior and I think that this interior is durable and even though it doesn't have a great interior design, I believe that the new design of Dacia is really greater and and of course, when the third generation duster will come out, it will look amazing. Right now, it's a little bit outdated because they have changed a lot in terms of design. But uh, I believe that it's still a pretty good car. And, and at this price, of course, I think that it should be on the number one spot on your list. So tell me which SUV would you choose under 25,000 euros and why would you choose it? That being said, these are top five SUVs that I believe that are worth to buy under 25,000 euros. If you like this video, then please like it, share it, give it a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This was Darius, see you next time.